Yes, you can bet your bottom dollar if you marry a Filipina that she'll eventually cheat on you. I have friends who had Filipina wives and those women all cheated on my friends. And then there are others I've heard about who just dumped their foreign husband because she now has citizenship in his country. What about those guys who married a Filipina and are living in the Philippines together? How these women all have boyfriends on the side and lie to their husband about where she goes and who she's with. I'm sure most of you have heard similar stories or read comments as I've outlined here, but is it true? I mean, are Filipinas really that mean, nasty and shallow? Are they worse in this department than women in the foreign man's country? Well, if you want the truth and a dose of reality, be sure to buckle up and stay with me here. Oh my Lord, there are certainly some bitter and sorry souls in this world, which having a YouTube channel for the past eight years or so, I've certainly seen my fair share. Many of these guys have been hurt by a Filipina, and so they decide that all Filipinas are the same. And so they feel they need to tell the world about it. Sure, as in any country, or with women of any nationality, relationships do fail, and one or both can be left heartbroken and maybe even bitter. But as the reputation, or maybe even a better word, is stereotype, really accurate or fair for Filipinas in general? Now, finding statistics for cheating in various countries worldwide isn't easy, and even the countries that have these statistics, I ask, are they really true? I mean, I saw one statistic where the study had Philippines at 0% for cheating, and then they don't really break down what the definition of cheating is. I mean, cheating isn't always just doing the act. It can also be emotional cheating, or perhaps excessive flirting when already in a relationship can be construed as cheating. Clearly, we know in the Philippines that cheating does go on and that's common knowledge. There are many married men who take on a mistress, and that's certainly a fact. So clearly, people may not be honest when completing such a poll. But we certainly don't need a poll to tell us what common sense should tell us. Am I right here? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Common sense will tell us that cheating by women and men go on in every country worldwide, and have done since Adam was a pup. No doubts about that. Common sense should also tell us that if we choose a youngish Filipina who's 30 years plus younger than the man, then yes, to put it bluntly, she may get tired of shagging that old man and look elsewhere whilst she's still young and attractive. Common sense should also tell us that if we get married before knowing someone fully, then the chances of the relationship succeeding reduce dramatically. Now, not saying all relationships, as some do work out, but the vast majority. You really need time to know what the Filipina's true intentions are with you. Is she interested only in a green card and a better life, or does she actually love you? In most cases, time will reveal this very important question. Having been a relationship counsellor in Australia for over 10 years, I'll tell you that I've seen the very same things happen here where much older guys have married young women and generally these guys married after a relatively short time of knowing one another that the relationships failed, usually by women cheating with a man closer to her age. Now, of course, such age gap relationships in my country between two Aussies are far less than between a foreign man and a Filipina, but nonetheless, we can see that the end result is almost the same no matter where you are in the world. Notwithstanding, I do believe many Filipinas have immense loyalty, almost to the point that they feel they owe a huge amount of gratitude to the man who did elevate their life. But even then, this loyalty can only last so long if the foundation for the relationship was never successfully built in the first place over a period of time. Filipinas, especially younger ones, have dreams of the future just like any other woman or man in the world. But I wonder if as a teenager 
she envisioned her life being spent with a man 40 years her senior? Or was it with someone much younger? Yes, things can certainly change and perhaps her loyalty will win through or even she will find a fondness or a love for the foreign man. But will she ever be truly happy and content within herself? I'll say for some that they very well may, but for most, they'll feel as though they've cheated themselves. So if we've rushed into a relationship and even married without laying a solid relationship foundation, or if we've chosen a young Filipina who we know will change what she wants from life and relationships as she moves through her 20s, or perhaps she was never mature enough mentally for a serious monogamous relationship, then who's really to blame here? Should the older and wiser man been aware of these things so he doesn't get hurt or maybe even lose many thousands of dollars? Or is it the young Filipina who as she gets a little older starts to feel as though something's missing and seeks out comfort with other people of her own age? I'll leave you to answer that question in the comments below. Thanks for watching, stay safe, take care, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.